new vlog. If you're new here, hello, my name is Kim. I am a second year, fourth grade teacher in Michigan, West Michigan specifically. And today, I'm like out of breath because I was just running around the house. That's kind of embarrassing. Um, today, I am just heading out of the house. It is like 12-ish, 12-ish. And I am going to Grandville, which is like a... Uh, 45 minutes from me, I think-ish. Ooh, my little tag is out. I hate when that happens. Uh, question, totally random. Do you guys cut these things off or do you leave them? I usually leave them, but I should probably cut them off, huh? But anyways, going to Granville, I'm gonna meet up with a girl named Ashley, a woman, I should say, named Ashley, who I used to have classes with in college, and she's followed my channel since then, and she reached out and she was like, hey, my younger siblings have some books they don't want anymore if you want them, and I was like, shook so i'm gonna go pick up those books from her and i think we're gonna go like get a cup of coffee and then i might while i'm out there because there's like a mall there and like stuff to do i might end up going to a couple stores but also i think i'm gonna hang out with my mom today so i don't know exactly what the game plan is also i actually painted my nails today i was very impressed with myself because i haven't painted my nails in a while which is weird because i like my nails painted but I don't know. This is a Zoya color i've really been loving Zoya nail polish lately this is the color sonia I got it at Ulta and I think it's really pretty. So just did that today. Now I'm heading out and I will see you guys when I see ya. Hey there guys. So I am sitting outside of Marshall's right now. I'm not really sure if you can see the sign. Um, I'm parked a little close to the store. So there's some very concerned people walking around that are looking at me, but that's fine. You know, do it for the vlog. Um, I just went to Joanne's and I got a couple of things in the clearance section and I totally forgot to film it. So I was like, I better film this really quick before I forget. I picked up this cute little sign for my friend Katrine who has like a camp themed classroom and that was like a dollar fifty or something like it was so cheap and then I also got this cool little like US America wood slate thing and that was only five dollars so super cheap if you're looking for some deals check out Joann's also I just have like a bunch of stuff here also I think I told you guys a little bit oh ignore my diet coke that's embarrassing um Ashley gave me some books from her siblings so super nice Ashley if you're watching this thank you so much and now I'm gonna go into Marshall's so let go so I didn't film a transition clip which makes this clip kind of confusing but I went to some thrift stores later and looked for books like I like to do so this is me at one of the thrift stores that I was at Hey there guys, it is Saturday now. It is sometime in July. And I am currently sitting in my car, as you can tell, outside of Barnes & Noble, which you can't tell that part, but that's the brick wall that is Barnes & Noble. I don't know if there's a sign somewhere, but. Anyways, um, today they are doing an event. I think it's like a story time event, but during the event, they are having all of their picture books for $10, which for like a brand new hardcover picture book, that is a really good price. And there's a couple that have been on my wish list for a long time. So I think I'm gonna go in and pick a up a couple books. And I'm suspecting it might be kind of busy because like they're doing an event. So I don't know if I'll vlog at all in there, but let's go see if I can find the ones that I want. Want. Hey there guys, so back in my car now, it was busy at Barnes & Noble, so I chose not to vlog inside because this is like my Barnes & Noble, so it was like likely that I could run into somebody I knew. So anyways, I am excited about a book I got, but also a little bummed because um, I'll insert some pictures. I took a bunch of pictures in case I wanted to post any on Instagram. Um, hold on, let me turn on my car a second. It's kind of hot. 
<laughs> Please hold. Well, anyways, I get inside and there's like this whole beautiful display of all the picture books and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And there's a big sign that says, all picture books 9.99 until 1 p.m. And I'm like, yes, and it's on this table with like all these picture books. And right away, immediately, I see one of the books on my list. I had three books in my mental list that I wanted and those three were, one of them was We Don't Eat Our Classmates. One of them was The Day You Begin. And then one of them was The Fantastic Elastic Brain. Those are three picture books I've been wanting for a while and I don't own already. So right away I see this one and it's actually their book of the month. And now I don't know if this is different at every Barnes and Noble or if it's the same, but at mine at least, how it works is they do a picture book of the month and if you buy any regularly priced children's book, it's $7.99 all month. Well, I wasn't buying any regularly priced children's books if that makes sense so I paid $9.99 for this instead of the $7.99 because um, all picture books were $9.99 until 1 p.m. so I got this one super excited about that this one's really really cute and I wanted it for a while then immediately like within probably five seconds after I see the day you begin which I've wanted since last summer it looks so cute and I've read through it and it's a really good one and so I'm so pumped like right away within like a minute of being there I've already found two out of three of the books so I grab those two and then I go to look for the fantastic elastic brain they didn't have that one unfortunately so I'm like okay I found my two I still did really well so then I get to the checkout and the we don't eat our classmates rings up at $7.99 for some reason I'm like that's super cool and then the other book the debut begin rings up as like $20 I think or like $18.99 or something and I was like oh like I think all picture books are on sale until 1 p.m. for $10 like that's what the sign said it's on that table like there literally was a sign like right in front of this book and the guy was really nice but he was like oh sorry it's only books that are normally $18 and under and apparently that book must have been like $18.99 or $19.99 or something so that one didn't count unfortunately so I was kind of bummed but I did at least still get this one for $10 which you could potentially get it for Eight if you have a full price book that you're going to buy um, but yeah super cute and I think on Amazon this one is like 13 to 15 dollars so I got, definitely got a deal on it so I'm really excited about that and then I also swung by a thrift store on my way here and just like really quickly ran in and got two books I got this one called Drita my homegirl and then this one which is upside down magic this is a really cute series I think I'm pretty sure now I have at least three copies of this book so I'm hoping to do it as a book club book because it's a really really cute one and I loved encouraging kids to read the first book in a series because then if they get hooked they want to keep reading the rest now I wanted to quickly show you a couple books that I have with me one of them I actually read today and that is conferring with readers so I read this one this morning now it's kind of hard to see because I have like my Mel bookmark thing across the front of it saying where it came from and it says that I can't remove it or it's a hundred dollar fine so I did read this this morning I thought it was pretty good and then in my little pile here I also have this book by Jennifer Sarah Vallo I don't know if that's how you say it but this is teaching reading in small groups so this one I started this morning but I haven't finished so I just brought it along with me in case I had time to read and then I'm kind of sad about this I have uh, just barely started Caterpillar Summer I showed this I think on my Instagram or maybe in a vlog I don't remember I showed it somewhere and I honestly have barely read this book since I started it because any reading that I've done recently I mean I've been listening to audiobooks like when I'm in the car but any actual reading I've been doing more of like textbook reading the past couple weeks and so I haven't really been doing more or like as much of like the middle grade fun reading so I need to get back into this and finish it because I think I have it due in like a week or two so I need to read that but anyways now I think I might head over to TJ Maxx I haven't really eaten anything today I mean I had a small breakfast I just ate some blueberries for breakfast so I need to get some lunch at some point because it's like almost one o'clock right now so TJ Maxx first because I'm right over here and I just like to look around there and like see what they have sometimes I get like inspiration you know from what they have there and I just like to look and see and then um maybe some lunch I don't really know I don't know what sounds good also it kind of feels like it's gonna rain but I don't know that for a fact we'll wait and see but yeah I'm excited about my books that I got so far today maybe I'll find some more I don't really know honestly the world is my oyster I just told Chris I would be back for dinner which is at like 5 30 or 6 and so I have quite a while to just kind of putz around town you know so let's go let's go here we go what will we find who knows that was obnoxious Kim 
Hey there guys, so now it is Monday, it is July 29, and it's actually like 4.30 in the afternoon now, so I've had like a whole day, um, but I kind of forgot to vlog. Uh, I did film a video today though for my channel, so if you haven't seen it already, I posted a video in the same outfit all about my behavior management systems for my classroom, so I'll try to remember to link that below, but if I don't, you can just go to my channel and find it. But I had like a whole day today. Like it's just been like a busy day, but kind of like a weird day. I've been doing, like I filmed that video and then I edited it. And then I also posted this product on TPT, which I'm really proud of. These are the writing strategies tabs you may have seen in one of my last vlogs. I did the same thing for the reading strategies book. And now I have it for my writing strategies book. So pretty cool. That's on my TPT. If you're interested, it's elementary in the mitten, just like I am over here and on Instagram. I also got a couple of fun packages. The first package that I got today was a package from Poshmark. I ordered a couple of dresses. This is the first one. I was trying to find some things I could wear for like back to school time when it's like so unbelievably hot. And so this is just a cute little dress. It's from Gap originally and like I said, I got it on Poshmark. My Poshmark closet is Makeup by Kim if you're interested in following me on there. And then I also got this dress. It's from the brand Exist. It's new with tags and it's just like a really cute light kind of bohemian like peasant style dress and it's really really cute so got both of those on Poshmark I love shopping on Poshmark this is not sponsored I just buy like probably 90% of my clothes on there so I was really excited about those I also got two other packages so let me run downstairs really quick and grab them because I just realized I do not have them up here so so I just ran downstairs and back upstairs with all my little packages and if I'm out of breath that is why and so anyways if you follow me on Instagram you may have seen a story that I posted today of an unboxing of a package I was so excited about I ordered from my sweet friend Morgan she has a website called the beach classroom store.com I believe I will try to remember to link it below and she sells like headbands and bows and head wraps and she is just like the coolest in addition to being a kindergarten teacher she's also a dance teacher and she is just like basically the coolest human I've ever met so I ordered one wrap and one headband so here's the headband that I got which wraps are like headbands I don't know but this one's so cute it's like a mustard color and I would wear this if I wear my hair like in a messy bun and then I would wear it like that to like keep my hair out of my face, my little baby hairs. And they're just so cute. She wore this one when she was at my house and I loved it. And then also I got this cheetah print one which I tried to tie up all cute earlier. I was like playing around with it but I feel like I need her to teach me how to tie them all cute because she's just super cute and whatever she does looks cute. So you could just tie it in like a knot like that or what she'll do is she like double ties it and then she'll like wrap the pieces under and make it look all cute. But anyways, I clearly have not perfected it yet, but I ordered those two and then she also included an extra one for me, which is so nice because she knows that I love camo. So she gave me this cute little camo one. So Morgan, thank you so much. If you guys are interested in headbands or wraps or whatever, go check out her store because she's super awesome. So my camera battery just died, so I had to run downstairs and switch it out so that the angle is like slightly different. I apologize. But yeah, I got these super cute headbands. And then I just got a package from Mallory. Mallory has donated before. Mallory's awesome. Mallory, thank you, thank you, thank you. She donated some of these fraction blocks. They're like Unifix cubes, but they have the fractions on them. These are super awesome. I believe this is my seventh set. So I'm really excited about that and to be able to get them in lots of kids' hands. And then also, this is so cute, you guys. She sent me two books in this series of books called Catstronauts. How stinking cute is that, you guys? Are you kidding me? These books are so cute. And these are just little graphic novels. So this is what they look like. So kind of like comic book style. So super cute. And these are like the ones that are paperback, but they're like glossy, so they feel really durable. So Mallory, thank you so, so much for those. That was so kind. And then I also received a package that didn't have a note with it and Jack is currently trying to eat one of the items. So Jack, that's kind of rude, don't do that. Um, the first thing that I got is this picture book called Potato Pants and it's so cute. If you guys have not read this one yet and you're a teacher, you need to read it. It's super stinking cute. I'm obsessed with it. I definitely will be reading that one to my students. And then also I got this book. This is probably my favorite book that I read all summer. It's called Song for a Whale and it's really, really good. 
And now to show you what Jack is gnawing on, I got four of these bath mats. And let me open them up. Jack really likes the feeling of the plastic in his teeth, so he will love this. There you go, cat. So I got four of these like microfiber black bath mats. And these are just the ones that are like really cushy. And I think these will be perfect for flexible seating in my room. So my hope is that I can put all four of them like upright maybe in a bin and the kids can like take them out and then put them on the floor and like sprawl out on them. And it will just be a comfy cozy spot for them to be. So thank you so much to whoever donated all of these items. That was so kind of you. And I'm so excited to use these in my classroom. And also this is so soft. And I'm pretty sure these are machine washable. I don't know if that's a fact or not. But I feel like they are. It says separate washing, but that doesn't say you can't wash it in the machine. So I'm gonna assume that that's a yes. So I have my video uploading right here, and then you guys can see I have like a bunch of tabs going on up there. Uh, and then I'll show you guys what I worked on yesterday. I created this meet your teacher form. This is like very much inspired by another one that I saw on TPT, but I wanted to tweak it a little bit. So I ended up making my own. However, because it is so much inspired by another teacher, I will not be putting this in my TPT just because I feel like that's kind of like dishonest. You know what I mean? Just because I didn't come up with the idea. So I believe the person's, I know her Instagram name is Teach Me Miss Z, I believe, or Mrs. Z. Um, but I'm gonna find her TPT and I'll link that below for you guys. I have also said I'm gonna link a lot of stuff, so if I forget something, please let me know. But basically, you can read through this if you'd like to. But something that I wanted to have on mine was a bunch of my favorite books because I like to introduce myself as a reader early and often. So I talk about books I like and just the fact that I like to read in general a lot to my students and I feel like it makes a big difference. So this will be sent out to my students like the week before school starts. And then also this year I am including a supply list. I did not include a supply list last year and I decided to change that this year. I'm only asking for three supplies. So I'm asking for a box of pencils. A box of tissues and for them to send their child with a reusable water bottle for them to drink from. Last year I got a lot of questions about if I had a supply list and what was on my supply list because I didn't send it out. So I just have a little picture at the bottom of like what I want them to bring and then I just put if you're interested in donating to our classroom expo markers hand sanitizer and sandwich and gallon plastic baggies are always appreciated but never expected thank you so those are things that I could have extras of in my room and just store and I would always like to have extras of those so that is what I'm sending out before the first day of school and I'm so excited. We have our first day reporting back as a staff on August 26th and then we have that open house at night. I need to double check the hours. I just made that version to post on um, Instagram and show you guys. That's why I had like the blocked out parts. Um, but I need to double check the time on the open house but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's two hours and I wanna say it's six to eight so that's why I put on there but it also might be like five to seven. I don't really remember. So. We have PD that day from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and then I'm pretty sure we get an hour lunch or an hour dinner, I think. And then our uh, open house is maybe five to seven. Maybe we get two hours for dinner. I really don't remember, you guys. So <laughs> we'll wait and find out when it gets a little bit closer. But yeah, that's the day before the first day of school and then kids report back on, or kids like have their first day, I guess, on August 27, which is a Tuesday. So, it is still a little while. I definitely have longer than a lot of people who are making YouTube videos, but it's still gonna come up quick and there's a lot of stuff I still want to get done. I have some trainings coming up as well. So, I start training two weeks before the first day of school and those are just optional trainings that I signed up for. One of them is on restorative practices and that will be a two-day training and then also I'm helping to lead a tech training because I'm on my district's tech team. So, I will be doing that as well. So, like I said, those are just optional ones. So. I'm going to be doing those and then I just feel like I have a lot going on like I have a lot planned out for these last few weeks of summer so hoping I can get everything done that I want to get done and then also there's just things that I want to like finish planning and prepping and all that fun stuff so 
lots going on it's all very exciting but stay tuned with me as I go through all of it and I still have some videos I want to film too so I finally I knocked out that behavior management one which was a big one and now there's some other things I want to do one on like trauma-informed teaching and perhaps like restorative practices in the classroom um, and then there's just some other like random advice videos yes the cat's on the table I'm sorry there's some other random like advice and tips and tricks type videos I want to do but let me know in a comment below what do you guys want to see even if I don't post it here on my channel I could do it in like an Instagram story if it's something that's a little bit shorter or I could do it as like part of a vlog so let me know what do you guys want to see also it's very humid today so my hair is like a little frizzy it's struggling a little bit tonight Melissa and I are going to go out shopping for back to school supplies I'm so excited and we're gonna film all of it so there is a video coming up on my channel I think next week fingers crossed next week where I am going to do like a huge haul and I'm getting like all my back to school supplies today basically and Melissa is going to help me film it it's going to be super fun we're filming in the store and it's all like planned out basically and I'm super excited for it so get excited for that video my goal right now is to have it up at the beginning of next week so look out for it it's going to be a good one I'm super excited I've been loving all these like shop with me type videos so definitely stay tuned for that it's going to be awesome Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Remember that you're incredibly beautiful and loved, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.